Hi there and welcome to today's vlog. As always, I'm so grateful when you take a few minutes to join me for these vlogs. And uh, we're still in the beautiful state of Florida, USA. And this week we uh, travel a little bit further afield from where we are. Uh, we're staying in a place called Lutz, which is near Tampa. You might be able to look that up on a map if you want. Uh, but we travel down to uh, a place called Sarasota. And uh, it's a fascinating place. We stayed overnight in a hotel there. It's interesting that when we went there for breakfast, they had paper plates and plastic knives and forks. That's a quite interesting thing. Uh, and then you, when you finish with them, you dump them into uh, the, re the, uh, the waste bin. I don't think many things are recycled here. From what I gather, in fact, it's really only paper and cardboard. But uh, that's another story. The hotel was good. It was a lovely air-conditioned room that we had. In fact, they had two double beds. We only used one of them, but uh, that's another story. So I want to tell you about our visit to uh, the Ringling Museum. John and Mabel Ringling uh, joined up with Mr. Barnum and formed the uh, Ringling and Barnum and Bailey Circus. And uh, it's fascinating to go around the museum, see all the lots of the old exhibits. Uh, in fact, I think the circus, the, the circus itself, um, or the successor to it, only closed finally a few years ago. Anyway, the the centerpiece, if you like, or the thing that fascinated us was a scale model of the circus, which is huge. It was created by a, a gentleman called um, Howard C. Tebbles. In fact, he only died early this year. He started in 1956 to build this model and he worked on it for many many years in fact probably the, the rest of his life he was uh, working on it to some extent and it's now housed in the uh, in the uh, Ringling Man Museum so it's fascinating to go around and see and there must be thousands and thousands of, of parts uh, so several big tops there's uh, thousands of people and exhibits and animals and motor cars and um, the transport that they used to, to move from city to city must have been an enormous uh, effort to get into a town set up and then take it all down and move on to the next one it was a, a huge, huge uh, enterprise and but this this model that, that he took years and years devoted his life really to creating was absolutely fascinating and uh, Sue and I really enjoyed walking around. In fact, Sue went back for a second uh, walk around. Um, perhaps one day we'll visit it again. But it is, if you're ever in this area uh, in Florida, I would really recommend going to Sarasota. Uh, Sue actually uh, also went for a dip in the Gulf of Mexico. So we had a great time in Sarasota. But it's this model that this man spent, devoted much of his life to building. And when we looked around it, although we loved it, we were fascinated by it. I asked Sue the question, did this man waste his time spending his life making a model of, of this circus? And what do you think? Was it a waste of time devoting much of your life to making a scale model of a, a circus, a famous circus? Well, Sue said no, she didn't think it was because it had given great joy to many, many people who'd walked around and looked at it. There were children there, adults, older people, everybody fascinated um, by this, this scale model. It's, you have to see it to believe it. Of course, at the end of the day, uh, the work of our lives, what we've done with our lives will be judged by God, not, not by any human being. And, and, and that reminded me of a, a passage in uh, Paul's uh, first letter to the Corinthians in chapter 3. In fact, many years ago, I, I had a, a thought that I might write a book about this passage. I never got round to it, but uh, who knows, maybe it'll come. Uh, Paul is talking about what we build with our lives. He says, each one should build with care, for no one can lay any foundation 
other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. He is the foundation. Then he goes on to say, if anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay or straw, their work will be shown for what it is, because the day, that's the day of judgment, will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire. The fire will test the quality of each person's work. If what has been built survives, the builder will receive a reward. If it is burned up, the builder will suffer loss, but yet will be saved, even though only as one escaping from the flames. So Paul really, to put it simply, is saying that the work of our lives, the fruit of our lives, will be tested, uh, almost refined. For some of us, what we've built will just be like wood, hay and straw, and it'll be burnt up, nothing left. For others, gold, silver, costly jewels, it will stand the test of the fire, and only God can make the judgment. So that's quite sobering, isn't it? Uh, so that's uh, the thought for the day. Uh, we, we're having a, a great time here. As I say, the people are so friendly, so welcoming, and we're loving our time. So uh, God bless you. Thank you so much for listening today.